have fun with Joe. You got yeah. a good game today about the inauguration. Fun with Joe. Yeah, fun with Joe. Fun with Joe. There it is. Only you would do that. <laughs> Only you would you would do that. I'm with Joe. There you go. His own theme song. Look at that. <laughs> it's gonna go back later, isn't it? <laughs> oh. uh, t- and how to easily make me drink. T- today the game is all about in- <laughs> the inauguration, and I have inauguration trivia here for Joe and Robin. Uh. And. Uh, <laughs> And remember, if you can't get an answer, we always have some left field questions. Thank goodness. But we have a very smart audience. I'm sure they'll be. Oh, they're you. smart, all right. Yeah. Google. Have you heard Google. this song? Have you heard the song, by the way? Am <laughs> <Come> on right? <laughs> Hog some people fair. Palatro County Fairgrounds in Gainesville, January 28th to the 29th, <laughs> and February 3rd to the 5th. Here, we've got two tickets for the city of Gainesville. The Hogstown Medieval Fair. There we go. And to the Ocala Civic Theater, your community-minded theater right here in lovely Ocala. We are one of the sponsors for the Fantastics on February 2nd through the 26th. <laughs> so two Matter. tickets to your community-minded theater. Remember, if you don't win the tickets, just give them a call at 236-2851. That's the Ocala Civic Theater. And from King Cookie right here at the Paddock Mall. King Cookie, where you get a cookie for this $30 gift card that we're giving you. About the size of a medium pizza. King Cookie, get a hold of John Lombardi and say, I won this from WOC Angels. Of course you did. And I'll make you a great, great size cookie. That's King Cookie at the Paddock Mall. And from Bob Wines Community Gardens, your gardening experts since 1952. They know everything that can be put in dirt legally, and they'll tell you how to do it. That's 2610 Southeast 38th Street right here in lovely Ocala, of course. If you're a veteran, you get 10% off with proper identification. That's Bob Wines Camellia Gardens. What's the total, Robin? $136 for the super duper prize back on Fun with Joe. (laughs) And if you or anyone in your household has won Fun with Joe in the past 30 days, you're not eligible eligible to play for this $136 prize package. You can do it. I already drank my coffee this morning from Starbucks, so you don't get another sip. Sorry. Uh, I drank it all. But if you see Mel in there, go in there and say, Joe said to ask you, what the Mel's going on? All right. Next. And they'll say, which Joe? And then they will say, the one on that guy. (laughs) (laughs) I owe you both one. Oh, do I owe you both one. All right, if you want to play, we need you to call in and bet on either Robin or Joe. The number is 622-9622. Tomorrow you get to do this with Dan. Yeah. That's correct. But I don't know who you're playing against. Tomorrow. Oh, this, Brad's going to be here. Galen's going to be in here co- co-hosting. So Just a bunch of uh, testosterone in here. That's tomorrow, right. Huh? No estrogen. <laughs> well, maybe Jinky will be in. Oh, oh Jinky's coming yeah, in. Yeah, she usually comes oh, in. Right. I don't know. That'll, That'll bounce it. Veterans, yeah, yeah. That'll bounce it. <laughs> we'll all come in with our wrenches and our hammers and our sledgehammers and our <laughs> jigsaws and everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, if you want to play, the number is 622-9622. We'll take your call right now, and when we come back, we'll play the game. We'll be right back. 622 Two two W O C A. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. On this Wednesday, sunshine, some clouds, and warm high 79 to 83. Partly cloudy Wednesday nights with a low of 56 to 60. There'll be some fog in the area late Wednesday night into Thursday morning. And partly to mostly sunny and warm later Thursday with a high of 78 to 82. Friday, partly sunny and warm high 80 to 84. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. You have that drip coming down from the corner of the room, but where did it start from? Mm. Own Dry Roof and Can and we'll fix it right the first time using quality materials and we'll deal honestly and fairly with you, period. You can find Bone Dry Roofing on their website, Bone Dry Roofing, LLC.com, and Facebook at Bone Dry Roofing, LLC. Do it right before your roof needs a tarp to keep the elements out. Bone Dry Roofing stands behind their work to help make your home safe and secure, plus they have financing available. Remember, if you're not bone dry, then you're all wet. 
If you or a loved one is suffering with knee, shoulder, neck or back pain, plantar fasciitis, peripheral neuropathy, and even tennis elbow, and would like to learn about how there are treatments that may benefit you, go to drwanyordan.com, then listen in on the first and third Thursday at 10 a.m. and hear from health professionals doing these treatments and patients who have benefited from them. First and third Thursdays, 10 a.m. Next Generation MD, right here on The Source. Leprechaun Soft Wash is the roof washing method that is safe and effective on shingles, tile, metal and shake roofs, vinyl, wood, aluminum, hardy board and stucco siding, driveways, pavers, and the list goes on. Leprechaun Soft Wash is fully insured and uses biodegradable cleaning products. Plus, Leprechaun Soft Wash offers a spot-free warranty on roof cleanings. Call 751-2325. No more blimey roof stains with Leprechaun Soft Wash. 751-2325. Veterans are the foundation upon which our freedom is built. Listen to The Source, WOCA, each Thursday at 9 a.m. to Veterans News with Hank Whittier from Vets Helping Vets. You'll hear tributes, information on veterans' issues, and stories that will make you laugh, cry, and feel proud. Veterans News always focuses on the military, past and present, and on our first responders. Veterans News is brought to you each week by Bob Wines Camellia Gardens and Nursery, keeping you blooming since 1952. I got bombing, idiot. Hey, what song's in your head right now, Roman? Nothing. Fun nothing. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Monty is betting on Joe. I wonder why I drink. Monty is betting on Joe. <laughs> Phyllis is betting on Robin. <laughs> and we have questions today about the uh, inaugural. Okay. The inauguration. Okay. Of the President of the United States. Ready? Here we go. Well, okay. I guess it could be for that. It could be any inauguration, though. Well, not this one. This well, is this is just for the th- President. Cause, you that's know, this one, yeah. Isn't that what they call what you do with the mayor also? Yeah, but I don't and have questions about the mayoral inauguration. Oh, no, the mayoral? <laughs> and the other ones besides that or what? I only have a presidential inauguration. Uh, no mayoral. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm asking your son. But there's a call online one for you. A call online one? It's the 70s. They wanted their theme song back. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. See? Get rid of that thing. I told you. That. <laughs> Uh, for those who didn't hear you, Dan was being a pain in the neck as usual. <laughs> uh, actually, he did that on the air. He didn't wait till we got off the air. Uh-huh. No, no. So, it's what are your thoughts on proficiency and growth? Any thoughts on that? That's yes. <laughs> Only on Mondays and Wednesdays. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, um, who was the first president inaugurated for a term limited by the Constitution? Oh, Eisenhower. Yes, it was Eisenhower, oh, 1957. Good job. I thought it was 54, but 57, okay. Good, good job. job. Monty yeah. and Joe on the board with one. The amendment limits to two. Mm. Wow. The number of terms a president can serve, and you probably figured that out because you knew FDR had three. Mm-hmm. Right? And he died in office or something? I don't know. Yeah, I think so. Who was the youngest president-elect at the time of his inauguration? John F. Kennedy. Yes. Yes, you beat me on that one. On the, yeah, I, I know, your fingers are right there. It was. 43 years, 236 days old. Wow. Okay. Um, which multiple-term president... Roosevelt. <laughs> ...holds the record for both the warmest January inauguration and the coldest? Uh, Obama? No. No, no. The warmest and the coldest. He was in office twice. Yeah, it was in, in our lifetime. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Um, Is it Eisenhower? No. Our, our lifetime. Our Clinton. lifetime. No, Clinton was not <laughs> twice. Once was enough. Okay. Our lifetime was Eisenhower. Right here, then, then. <laughs> We're going back to Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it, though. I, I've seen him oh, there. Oh, my gosh. Was it Reagan? Reagan is right. Reagan oh, yeah. was old. He had to think, think, think. Reagan is right. And a rough beard. <laughs> I remember it well at Gettysburg. <laughs> Took me four days to get there. Which president? <laughs> <laughs> See, that's just the music. Oh, he's got it. No lyrics. Yeah, nah, that's just, just plain music. We'll just listen to this for a while. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Pick on Joe. We can do it live. We can do it live. Yeah, no. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 Dad, you're jealous. That's what you're jealous. You're all jealous. <laughs> uh, this is just such a great song. Hold on. But I just like the way your eyes went. What the? <laughs> See, Larry's off camera, but his eyes lit up about the size of a Coke bottle. Why do you know what I pushed? He's like, how did I get in there? What did I do? What did I hit? Where? Whoa, whoa. 
Sunday. He's just lucky you had the, <laughs> the pot up. That's all, yeah. He lucked out on that one. He did. He did luck out on that one. All right, all right. Who he was, really looked. Who was the so first funny. president? <laughs> Dan's going, I'm watching you. I'm watching <laughs> you, yeah. <laughs> who was... Uh, <laughs> Who was All the, letters go to Dan. Who was the first president to ride in an automobile at his orga- inauguration? At his organizational yeah, 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 yeah. inauguration. Yeah. Yeah. Is it FDR? It was not FDR. Teddy Roosevelt. <laughs> it, was, yeah. it was 1921, if that helps. No. Uh, was it Hugh Cannon? No, no. Is it 1921. His initials are WGH. Oh, Warren Harding. Yes, Warren Harding is okay. right. Okay. Yes. I had to what beat Joe on that for? one. <laughs> um, governor. governor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which president took the oath of office aboard Air Force One? No, Johnson. Yes. Yeah, that Ooh, was an easy one. I had one. to beat that for Joe. That's yeah. Right. I've got to put my pen down and put my, my bell over here. And so. Which president's inaugural ball was reported to be so rowdy yeah. that the new president was forced to escape the White House in secret? So rowdy? That's what it says. Clinton? <laughs> it had to be Roosevelt. It's it's way earlier than that. Way earlier. Yeah, really? Way, yeah. Think about your twenty dollar bill. Oh, uh, oh, let me. Uh, oh, Jefferson. See. No. no. Uh, Gosh, uh, do, I have, do I have a twenty dollar? Oh, Hamilton. <laughs> Who? Hamilton. The Jefferson. I mean the twenty dollar bill. Hamilton. Jefferson. Bill, the guy with the wild white hair. <laughs> Good morning. Do you know? Andrew Jackson. Jackson there is you right. Go. Jackson is right. Who's the point for? <laughs> You're right, the wild hair. Uh, yes. uh, Joe. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, yeah, he's got wild I found that one $20 bill among all the ones, so <laughs> that's it took so long. I had to move the $1 bills aside uh, and then watch the moths fly out. Which yes? president took the oath of office in Buffalo, New York? Whoa. Washington. No. No, 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 no. no. no uh, Jefferson. No. Madison? No. I give up. Left field. He had a relative who was also in office after him. Not uh, to, not immediately after him, but a few years later. Oh, Adams. No, that's a no, good guess. Adams. Adams. Point, no. do you know? Theodore Roosevelt. Yes, Teddy Roosevelt. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Who's the point for? And the point is for Joe. Thank Ooh, you very much, my historian. Three. Historian, historian, yes. Point for Joe. Or after a harsh, <laughs> after a harsh and fractious election campaign, <gasps> uh, which president attempted to heal the national wounds by saying, "We are all Republicans. We are all Federalists." Oh my goodness, Federalists! That, that's going back. That puts it back. Yeah, Lincoln. Earlier than Lincoln. Hmm. I think he was the third president of this country. Ah, oh, gee. Oh, uh, Franklin. No, no earlier. No, than um, that. Uh, you got Washington, Jefferson, Madison, Grant. You, did you say Jefferson? Jefferson. Yeah, Jefferson that was Jefferson. I thought it was Grant, yeah. but it was Jefferson. Okay. Jefferson, the third. He was president. the third president, right? Yeah. I don't know. He's somewhere down there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, whose inauguration was the first to be photographed? Oh, Lincoln. No, his initials are JB. It was 1857. James Buchanan. Yes, James Buchanan. Okay. That's right. 57 before Thank Lincoln. Thank you for the initials. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I know. Who knew? I, well, I knew they had the, the plates for Lincoln mm-hmm. when they took his picture. I didn't know they did it before that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, follow, following whose inauguration was the first inaugural ball in Washington, D.C. held? Who had the first ball? Teddy Roosevelt. No. Oh, it was the single one. It was the guy that wasn't married, right? You, what? I don't know. Uh, we'll go with initials. J.M. Joe Marto. <laughs> <laughs> James Madison. James Madison is right. <laughs> All right. Uh, which president wore a ring to his inauguration mm-hmm. that contained a lock of hair cut from Lincoln's head after he was shot? Johnson? No. That would have been too soon. I mean, he just died. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> well, I what's the point? Could... You got to get the hair from somewhere. I guess so. After he was buried, what do you do? Uh, uh, all right. It's a fair... Take him out of the earth. And... Fair guess. Uh, okay. Okay. So, it's... we've already named <laughs> this, Grant. This, Grant was gone. We've already named this president. We've already Jackson. Said... No. No. Jefferson was no. That's no. That no. Can't be Jefferson. That's be Madison. No. 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 Was... Buchanan. 
His initials are TR. Teddy Roosevelt. Teddy Roosevelt is oh, right. Really? The jump in. That's morbid. <laughs> that is kind of morbid. It is. That's the same thing. Uh, it, you know, it's you know, uh, Trump is going to use Lincoln's Bible. Right. Mm-hmm. But a lock of hair? It's like, <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of weird. When was the first televised inauguration? Uh, Kennedy. Uh, Eisenhower. Uh, no and no. Oh, before Eisenhower? Uh, Truman. Truman is right. Oh, good yes. job. 1949. Wow. Didn't realize that. Um, where is the oath of office found in the Constitution? In a big book. <laughs> this is a hard one. <laughs> I didn't know it before this morning, it's, so right. I had to recruise my recuse myself. Oh, so you have this one memorized? Okay. Yeah. Where is the oath of office found in the Constitution? How's Joe going to get this one then? Well, then I go left field. Well, he <laughs> probably knows. There you go. Because Joe's smart. Uh, no, it's All right. It's, good. it's Article, Library of Congress. Article. You could have said any of these. Article two, section one, clause eight. That's what it says here. Yeah, I learned that this morning. I couldn't have told you. You remember that. that? Wow, you're a good student. Here I we go. Here's your left field that. question. <laughs> Aren't you glad everybody loves you? <laughs> well, this, this, this one had the lyrics to it. It's okay. Yeah. What is your favorite Halloween candy? I thought it was a favorite song. I was going to cry. <laughs> I was going to cry. <laughs> yeah. We'll go with chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite candy is chocolate. Uh, Snicker. Which who, yeah, yeah. who became president as a comp, as a result of the Compromise of 1877? Is that Grant? No, Grant's before no. that. Oh, no. he's in the 60s. His, okay. na- his initials are R B H. Harrison? No. Oh. Harrison. H R B H. Is it R Harding? No. Good morning. Do you know? Rutherford B Hayes. Yes. Hayes. Oh, I forgot that's about it. And who's the point yeah. for? Uh, Joe. Woo, we're tied now, 7 to 7. Here's the deal. It was 1876. He was short 20 votes. That would be 20 electoral votes, by uh-huh. the way. And 20 votes remained in dispute. The Republicans controlled the Congress, so they said give it to him, and that became a big problem. Oh and they gosh. gave you a quarter to call somebody to give a <laughs> Yes. Uh, <laughs> what? In 2013, Barack Obama was sworn in with a Bible owned by someone who was never president. Whose Bible was it? Martin Luther King. Yes. Good job. Luther King's right. Um, who had to retake the oath of office because of a mistake? Uh, Obama. Obama is right. Eight to eight, we're tied. I want to know what the mistake was. It was not his. It was the word faithfully being used. It was the Chief Justice John Roberts' mistake. Hmm. Um, let's see. Uh, which president was the first to take the oath of office in Washington? Which president was the first to take the oath of office in Washington? Hayes? Earlier. Is it Grant? Uh, Earlier. Earlier than Grant? Yeah. Oh, that surprised me. Earlier. So it was after... Because the first, the first White House was in, in, the, in uh, New York or Pennsylvania somewhere, and then well, New York, I think it was, and then they moved to D.C., and they start building it for Lincoln. This so is it's not Franklin. 1801. It's the third president, before Lincoln. right? Yeah, good morning. Do you know? Jefferson. Jefferson. Oh, Joe yeah, just got it Joe a little got it. Yeah, thank you, Jim. Joe just got it before you said it. Thank That's you. okay. Yeah, I keep getting Franklin same, same. And Jefferson mixed <laughs> up all the time. Same, same. Um, who was the last president who had never before held political office? T- Trump is somebody who has never held political office before. Which president also never held political office? Was it Nixon? No, 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 no! no, no it's not Barack. It's never held political office. Right, the last one. Uh, what? The the last one. I don't think Washington ever held office, right? Yeah, I don't think. But this so. is the most recent. Lincoln was a senator, so it wasn't Lincoln. The go, most recent was it Eisenhower. Eisenhower was right. Oh, yes, okay. right. Yeah, you went, you went from battle to the right. yeah, general right. to president. Yeah. Nine to nine, we're tied. All right, which president refused to solemnly swear and instead used the word affirmed? Barack Obama. <laughs> no, no. Oh, gee, no. I learned that this morning. What is his name? Uh, it's a president. <laughs> yeah, was it Truman? No. No. Truman uh, Capote was never president. <laughs> oh, my God, what was that name? Good morning, do you know? Oh, I couldn't remember. Herbert Hoover. Hoover. No, no, not Hoover, no. Well, not even that vacuum cleaner guy. <laughs> <laughs> 
Which president? Eisenhower. No, his initials are F P. Price. P. No. Pierce. Yes, Franklin That's Pierce it. is right. Good job. He, ne- he never swore his oath to office. Instead, he affirmed it. History doesn't tell us why. Oh, that's no good. <laughs> Who was the only president to be sworn into office by a woman? Uh, 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 Carter. Oh, Lee, uh, Johnson. Johnson is right. John- oh, that's right on the plane. Right. That's ten to right. ten. Sarah Hughes was who uh, in, in... And her cousin Sarah Lee, yeah. <laughs> they ate uh, well. They ate well, yeah. Who contracted pneumonia after his one hour and 40 minute inaugural uh, address and died oh. one month after? His yeah, yeah. Uh, was, was it Roosevelt? Is it hurting? No. No, it's in the. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is his name? See, William, I can't not remember. Hayes. Do you know? Um, Do you know? Who is it? William Henry Harris. Yes! That's it. <laughs> Who's the point for? Show. Thank you so Woo! much. Who won? Monty as the winner. We were tied. That was a tiebreaker. Thank you Monty so much. And Joe. Pass the word. This is the source. Yes, it is. The source. And what happened? I thought we were coming up to the eye. We're mess. very close. We're very close. Anyway, we're still the source. Pass it along, please. <laughs> <laughs> Your new stock station. Studios. This is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 963 FM, The Source. Fox News Radio, I'm Carmen Roberts. Billionaire Wilbur Ross facing questions on Capitol Hill. President-elect Trump's nominee for Commerce Secretary says the U.S. cannot afford trade that's bad for American workers or businesses. We should provide access to our market to those countries who play fair, play by the rules, and give everybody a fair chance to compete. Those who do not should not get away with it. They should be punished and severely. Ross speaking this morning to a Senate confirmation committee and a bobcat attacks four people and some cats in Sedona, Arizona. They were scratched by the animal, maybe some puncture wounds. Arizona Fish and Wildlife's Shelly Shepard. The bobcat found and killed tested positive for rabies. The people attacked undergoing painful shots for the disease. Fox News, we report, you decide. Investments in securities involves the risk of loss. The following is a far too common tale of investing in annuities. A successful couple invested... 